Hey, Twisted Girl, welcome back to Twist and Shout. And as you can see, I'm over here just like, let me do something. And I got some new things I want to try on a camera that I'm very excited about showing to you guys. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this. I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to do my watch day in parts again because I feel like um, you guys get more bang for your buck which i'm not saying because you're not paying me right but i want to hopefully i'm not i want to you know actually show you guys piece by piece step by step what i'm going to do um as far as like wash day and stuff and this is to help someone figure out what actually works and what doesn't you know what i'm saying like you're not just hot right into with something in your face so just gonna so I'm learning a lot, right? And I'm learning from YouTube. Oh, I'm learning from YouTubers that are not even aware that they're teaching. It's crazy, right? <laughs> I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. But anyway, I have here my onion oil that I made. I, I, I posted and I told y'all that I went in on DIYs the same night I made this. I made this, I made a leave-in, I made so many other things, y'all, like so much. And I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair today because it is, I don't think, I don't know if it's time or not, I don't, I, I'm losing track. I'm just going with my hair instead of like saying, oh, I got a schedule. I'm going on what my hair feel like and moving forward. And right now my hair feels a little heavy feels a little chaotic and I'm just gonna you know take care of it get it cleaned up so to speak but if you don't know onion oil has suffer in it the natural suffer and we know that suffer scientifically is proven to elongate your growth phase so I made some pure organic onion or raw, uncut, nothing else in it. Like literally I put onions, I chopped on a white onion, a yellow onion, I'm sorry. I, I chopped a yellow onion, put it in some sesame seed oil and let it cook a little bit. And y'all, it stunts. But I made up my mind. I said, all right, cool. I'm just going to um put it on my scalp and then I'm going to wash it up. So. This is supposed to be like, I can say it stinks. It just smells like cooked food. Like, it smells like something good, like a roast or something. But I will say this. I'm a little nervous because y'all know I have food allergies, right? And onion tends to bother me in the most weirdest way when I eat it. First thing is, it comes out my pores. So... I don't eat them that often anymore. As a kid, I was just like, I could care less. But as an adult, I'm like, mm, that's not cute. So I'm just going to put some in here sparingly. But anywho, make sure I got my problem areas. So y'all know I'm a big fan of stuff with stuff at eight. Any product has stuff in it. And that's because that is the safe suffer. Well, I'm not going to say safe, but it's the uh, man making uh, suffer. So, ooh, I smell cooked. <laughs> and I don't know if I like that. But <laughs> anyway, um, I forgot what I was saying, y'all. So, I'm going to show y'all on camera. I'm actually using this. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Um, after using this this one time, I might have to toss this. Because it is raw, it is organic, and like I said, I know what onions do for me. Like I said, it comes through my pores pretty badly. And they usually come like the next day. Like I guess after it takes time and goes through, um, through the body and goes through that process. But for the purpose of education and actually trying to see if this actually does work because onion is being categorized or putting up on a pedestal just as high as rice water but obviously for different purposes rice water is to strengthen your hair and keep your hair from breaking and shedding 
the onion is meant to promote hair growth and to stimulate hair growth from a possibly dead scalp that does not have enough sulfur in it or maybe you don't have enough sulfur in your diet so like i said if you maybe feel more comfortable just implementing onions into your diet that's cool that's fine like i said i grew up on onions and that kind of explains to me in my mind like yo i did not have no problems i was not the type sitting down saying what do i need to do to grow my hair my hair just grew and i ate a lot of onions i ate onions almost any chance i got seriously i ate onions on my sandwiches burgers um my fries my hot dogs like beans and franks beans like i just ate onions i loved onions but whoo child also when i eat onions and particularly with this one it doesn't matter if it's a yellow white or red onion they pretty much do the same thing and i'm i have i guess because of the acid level i have issues um with my gums and they actually bleed and as gross as that sound it's as gross as it is like th that situation is a whole nother level of disgust and irritation like imagine you don't brush your teeth you don't take care of your hygienic routine with your mouth and then your gums bleed out of nowhere and it used to happen a lot and i had no idea what in the world was going on and this has been happening for ever and i'm the type as you can see i take care of my mouth my mouth is not gritty it's not nasty i actually brush my teeth when i'm supposed to i have mouthwash i even have electric toothbrush so i take my um mouth hygiene very seriously and i try to get my uh children to do the same like and it's bad y'all it's just luckily nobody else is showing any signs of this thank god but um yeah so i hate to get nasty with y'all but i need to get real with y'all too so i'm putting this on my scalp i wish y'all could see a little better but trust and believe if it comes back empty i'm obviously putting it somewhere <laughs> and my fear is that it will come through my pores in a different way because i'm putting it on <laughs> my head so please comment if you ever ever tried onion oil I'm pretty sure most people, if you did try, it probably wasn't raw. Like, I don't see nobody trying to make this themselves. But I was curious. And who don't got onions? I got onions. Oh, we were given onions. We didn't go out and buy them. Because, like I said, I'm trying to stay away from them. But I will say this oil, this sesame seed oil, is kind of like a perfect match. It is so creamy and so rich and so moisturizing. Um, not um, sesame. I keep saying sesame seed. Um, Lord, I made a spot. The, um, oh no, that's a design. Nope, it's a spot. <laughs> the, um, sesame, not the sesame seed, I keep saying that. The pumpkin seed oil is what I, um, made this with. I don't know why I keep saying sesame seed. Y'all know sesame seed is clear. But, ugh, I don't feel anything on my scalp. I'm pretty sure some people are wondering, like, do I feel anything? I am scared and nervous as I don't know what, y'all. Like, I'm really scared and nervous right now because <laughs> I might actually be having, like, an allergic reaction. But I made it and I'm curious, so I went ahead and did it. Um, I'm trying to get some actual scalp. I don't want to put it too much on my actual hair. And I will say I would not be pre-pooing today. I'm actually just going to put a hair mask on, but I had to make sure I touched my scalp first and kind of, you know, talk to you guys about this process and what I'm doing. So if you see my hair just, you know, just shoot to the floor, you can be like, yo, Shara, what are you doing? And like, look how rich and brown that is. That's pumpkin seed oil. And which I told y'all in, um, well, I previously recorded and deleted by mistake so i leave that comment out but i'm just know that i'm becoming a huge fan of pumpkin seed oil so like i said that is real greasy and real gritty and i try to put it around as much as possible so this will be step one of wash day today and i just like i said want to film this in part so you guys can get the full tea and I am done. So as you can see, this is what my hair looks like. It's real gritty. 
not not gritty real greasy like hair grease almost which is a good thing because i feel like i can get a you know nice even spread and distribute uh distribution throughout my hair and scalp so like i said i cover my problem areas y'all know and hopefully this will sprout some hairs and just wake that scalp up. And I just need to know, are y'all down to try some onion oil? Are you curious? I'm pretty sure you can make this smell nicer. A lot of people use the red onion because the red onion doesn't smell as bad. I believe the white onion doesn't smell as bad as the yellow onion either. The yellow onion to me is just like the, like, it tastes good. But it definitely is the stinkiest one. But you make that choice. You know, you make that decision. It could be also the onion's age. Like, these are a lot of things that have different factors in regards to the onion but again my whole purpose of this in case somebody missed this because suffer elongates the growth stage and it seems like for me um in the winter months my hair grow kind of just be like and it seems like spring is where i have the most shedding like right before spring starts seems like summer i actually can grow my hair a little bit faster than normal but it's usually the opposite for some people but Y'all know. All right. So I love you guys. Please stay tuned because I'm going to come back with the hair mask stage. So stay tuned, y'all. Got some new stuff for you. So come back. Okay. I love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.